So as we know, the FIA has intervened on porpoising and bouncing on safety grounds following driver complaints throughout the year. As part of this, an aerodynamic oscillation metric and a clampdown on flexi floors is being introduced from the Belgian Grand Prix, and next year the FIA are bringing in new technical regulations as part of its intervention. But the measures have made some teams unhappy, and according to a report, they are fearful that the changes are playing into Mercedes' hands with the team apparently having just revealed an insane downforce gain it has coming. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content and you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1 and there'll be a link in the description. So following discussions during a technical advisory committee during the Austrian Grand Prix weekend, the FIA stated a number of new measures would be introduced for 2023 to reduce porpoising and bouncing. This includes raising the floor edges by 25mm, a raising of the underfloor diffuser throat, more stringent lateral floor deflection tests, and the use of a more accurate sensor to measure bouncing. Now as I said earlier, the FIA is intervening on porpoising and bouncing on health and safety grounds, and they are allowed to do this without getting any approval from F1 teams. Given this is an issue around safety, Article 1.2.2 of F1's technical regulations state, any changes made by the FIA for safety reasons may come into effect without notice or delay. But according to Autosport, there are a group of six teams, alleged to include Ferrari, Red Bull, Alpha Tauri, Alpha Romeo, Haas and Williams, who are ready to challenge the changes as they're unhappy about the extent of them. As we've seen in recent races, the bouncing and porpoising problem appears to be more under control and the report states that the teams feel the changes are unnecessary due to this. The report goes on to say, It's understood that the unhappy teams have begun lobbying FIA President Mohammed Ben Suleiman to argue that the changes to the technical rules for 2023 are not a genuine safety matter, so should not be allowed to go ahead. But it is suggested that teams would be willing to compromise with minor tweaks, such as the floor edge being raised by around 10mm given it won't require such a huge rethink to car designs. Well, according to Autosport, teams are fearful that the floor changes are playing into Mercedes' hands, and that changes being made this season and next year can benefit them. And one team boss told Autosport that the team has found an insane amount of downforce for next year, and that having this combined with the rule changes is a big benefit to them. They said, The changes are so extreme for 2023 because Mercedes claim they have found 40% more downforce for next year, so they have urged the FIA to act. If Mercedes have genuinely done that, then you may as well hand them the World Championship now. But the FIA said in a statement that the rules it's bringing in is being done to ensure the cars are safe. A statement from the governing body said, It's the responsibility and the prerogative of the FIA to intervene for safety matters. And the reason the regulations allow such measures to be taken is precisely to allow decisions to be taken without being influenced by the competitive position each team may find themselves in. Now if Mercedes has found 40% more downforce for next year, that's insane. It's much harder to generate downforce this year given nearly all of it now comes from the underbody of the car. So to find that much in just a year is impressive. And that would make F1 teams worried, especially if they feel the new rules can work in Mercedes' favour as well. Now even though the rules have been introduced on safety grounds, I can see why teams would be angry given the porpoising and bouncing problem hasn't been much of an issue in the last few races. But the rules going forward are there to prevent this happening in the future, although it will be interesting to see what the outcome of the rebellion some teams are said to be forming will be, and if there will be any tweaks to the rules later down the line. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care. Bye.